Let's learn how to do fake wind animation on trees, plants, or grass in Blender with simple steps. I will use a kit library asset, this plant with big leaves, and you can go with whatever you have. The green part, the plant, is already an object in itself, and we will do two types of animation on it using modifiers. But first, I need you to select the leaves alone from the materials, since they probably have a separate material. So select the leaves material area, then assign it to a new vertex group because we need the first effect to go on the leaves alone. Next, we need to add a displace modifier. Hit new to add a texture to it and pick the cloud type from the texture settings. The displace coordinate is better on object to control it easily with an empty, so switch it to object, then add an empty in the scene. The empty transformation will affect the displace modifier, so we can easily keep it in place and keyframe the Z rotation in it, or use a hashtag frame driver in the rotation to keep the motion along the timeline. Now the effect is on the entire plant, so we need to assign the vertex group we made for the leaves to keep the dancing there alone. You can now drop the strength to 0.1 or below that because the default one is too much, and you will get a nice wind-mimicking animation like that. What's left is the movement of the branches and the plant itself, and that can be easily done with a simple Deform Bend modifier. The bend angle is what we need to keyframe, so just hit the I key on it for a keyframe, then we can switch to the graph editor where we can add a noise modifier inside for a bend randomization. It's just make the keyframed value, which is the angle, go up and down along the timeline, so we get this shaking animation, which can be settled down with the scale and strength values. So just play with them. A 0.1 in strength and a bigger scale can do fine animation most the time in those cases. Now, this one bend we added is on the x axis, and it's more than enough, cause the wind will be from one direction. However, if you want to add more randomness, you can add another bend, this time for the Y axis, keyframe the angle, and use the same noise modifier, and you will get the bend at 360 degrees and not one angle. But you don't need to go this far unless your camera is under the tree. And that's it. Try it out and have fun. This goes for trees, people, dogs, underwear. The options are yours. Stay sharp. Goodbye.